Hello there everybody, good afternoon. All right, so I'm back with you today for another video. This one's very interesting. So I'd really appreciate if you just sit back, grab a drink, grab a beer or something and go ahead and join me for this one. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show y'all a couple Japanese gems today um, that's for sale. If anything that you're interested in, go ahead and contact me or I'm gonna go ahead and put the number right here in the screen so you could go ahead and give the shop a call. Okay. So we have the twin turbo Aristo right here. Um, this one is for sale, has upgraded rims to the Toyota Aristo. Also has Olin's coilovers, AC ice cold, no leaks, nothing, perfect, okay? This one is going for 9,500, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go on in and show y'all some stuff. We have these right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the prices for these cars in the description. So if anybody that's interested, you can go ahead and see what's going on. So let's take a look at them. So just to show you something, if you need engines, we have engines here for you, okay? And there's a lot more where that came from. I also have another engine here. Now, if you wanna ride around in Japanese VIP style, I have the right stuff for you. What I have right here is a Toyota Crown, otherwise known as a JZS171, okay? This is the elite version, okay? This is full VIP stuff. There are some upgrades to this. The engine is mostly a stock, but there are upgrades to other parts of this car. Example, the rims and the brakes. I'm gonna go back over and go ahead and give y'all a show of that one. All of these cars that you see right here, they're all for sale, okay? Um, one JZ GTE VVTi, stock single turbo, 2JZ GTE VVTi manual transmission making over 500 horsepower and that's being moderate okay I'm gonna go over these cars and show y'all what's going on this one big Bem Brembo brakes from the front six piston calipers rear four piston calipers also tires that are rated for very high speed it's kind of dusty now it needs a new home any one of them right here that you see that you want or you're interested in go ahead and contact me or i'm going to put the number so you could go ahead and give the shop a call this one is an original toyota Aristo with upgrades to it from the rims the big brakes and some other stuff that you know potential buyers if you're serious there you can go ahead and contact us and we'll give you more information on that the interior is full black this one also has the rear wheel steering as i say it's kind of dirty because hey it needs a new home but you wash this thing off and it's extremely, extremely clean. Let me see. My thing here doesn't even do it any justice, but it's extremely, extremely clean, no justice. But anyways, this one is for sale, so go ahead and give me a contact, okay? This one also has Braga tail lights on the back, if you know what that is. Those tail lights are, you know, <laughs> if you find them, they're gonna be expensive. Here I have the keys in my hand, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Also, the paint on this car is a pearl white, okay? It's a pearl white paint. And I'm gonna bring it out and show you guys what's going on exactly inside the interior. Good, so here we go. We're now inside the interior of the car. Let's go ahead and give it a cold start. Transmission shifter is right here. Okay, so it's in neutral. Now, let's go ahead and give it a cold start. Okay, so the engine is cold. As you can see, the AC is on. We don't need that, so good. Okay, so it's cold, as you can see. Good, it's cold. So, the exhaust note right here. As I said, this car is a 2JZ GT VVTi. It's single turbo, okay? Full standalone ECU by Haltech. Also, it has a Toyota Supra differential. As you can hear, that's what the exhaust sounds like. Okay. Okay. 
Now we're gonna wait on this car to warm up and then we're gonna bring it outside. I'm gonna go full detail over everything about this car so you can go ahead and see. As I said, if you're interested, go ahead and give the shop a call. It's here for sale right now. You can also schedule a test drive and also financing is gonna be available really soon. So if you don't have the cash right out to pay for it, financing is gonna be available. That's another option so you can get your dream car. Now listen to this beast. This is the one we're featuring today. Good, you hear that? Now, I'm gonna tell you something. Before we get into this car, you see these wheel marks? That's a two wheel, not a one wheel peg. So you get the perfect idea of what's going on. Now, we're gonna go into this car right now and I'm gonna go over some of the features of it. And I'm gonna show you what's going on. So, let's go ahead and pop the hood right now. Good, okay. So here we go, let's dive into this. We have a custom catch can right here, okay. Single turbo setup. As you can see, even the lines for the catch can, everything is run professionally. Behind the engine and back out, and it's not a lot of stuff all over the whole place. Custom aluminum radiator. Custom inner cooler piping, okay. Not too in your face with the shiny, shiny chrome stuff, okay. This is actually stronger than the other one. Now, auto air control valve, Okay, you gotta have that, you have big horsepower, you know, a bigger turbo, you need your car to idle perfectly. Bigger injectors are also inside the car, okay. As I said, this car is a five-speed manual transmission car, okay. You have your clutch master cylinder right there. Fuel pressure regulator. And as I'm passing over this right now, you can actually hear there's no funny sounds inside the car, no squeaky sounds, no exhaust leaks, none of that okay it's done right as you can see i don't even have to start pointing out stuff no crazy drain feed is run properly as you can hear the fans come on and that's for a lot of people i'm pointing to you right now they have the stock gs fan shrouds those are the japanese shrouds you see how neatly it fits inside the car okay so as it stands, this car is making over 500 horsepower. This is a GS300, and that's being conservative right now, seeing the engine that's inside the car. It's on a full standalone Haltech ECU, so no stock ECU. It's on a full standalone Haltech ECU, okay? It's currently on pump gas right now. However, if you do purchase the car and you need more power all you have to do is drop some injectors in and go for a retune the fuel pump that is inside the car is already supporting the power that you're going to try to make and all of that so as you can see the body of the car is really clean okay we have the front lip right here the lights are on you could take a look for yourself the japanese license plate is also here making it you know giving it a better jdm touch the hood struts are good you don't see the hood falling down. And we're also gonna go on to the interior of the car. But let me go ahead and give y'all a more walk around of everything that's right here. Okay. These right here are Toyota Risto rims, directly from Japan. These are 17s with really good tires on them. Also, we have the Toyota Twin Turbo Super Brakes on the front. That's a nice brake upgrade right there. You know, these fit perfectly inside the rim and not a ricey look tastefully modified outside but it's a beast as you can see in the past part of the video 
Teodor Risto fenders that has the lights here instead of right here. Teodor Risto front bumper, okay? And I'm also gonna pass on the inside and show you what's going on. The interior of this car is extremely clean. Let's take a look at the back of the car before we do that. Now, we're here at the back of the car. See, both custom exhaust right here, okay? Toyota Risto trunk, upgraded tail lights. You also have the trunk spoiler right here. How much people do you see with one of these? This is original Japanese stuff, okay? Now, the car is also on Cusco coilovers. If you know about coilovers, Cusco coilovers, you could have a really good ride and anywhere you plant this car, that's where it will stay. Let's start by the driver's front part of the door. Okay, door panels here, or Japanese cloth interior with the black wood grain finish. Door panels are in excellent condition, no lifting, nothing, no tears, nothing. Okay, so as you can see right there, it's really, really clean. Okay, now let's go on to the other door panels so you can go ahead and see. Back also the same, black wood grain finish, cloth, suede, interior on here, no lifts, no nothing okay all right so let's start with the back of the car these as you can see they're in black okay they're in black seats are in black as you can look over in the back there black also the seats are very clean no rips no tears no lifting nothing here we have the middle of the car here the armrest with the cup holders no tears nothing it's all in perfect mint condition now the ground part of the car has a custom carpet here this goes over the whole back of the car it's also in the front part of the car it's a red diamond stitching and if you can pull away right there you can see the carpet underneath there is black and in perfect condition also okay you also have the holders here in the back perfect condition now let me go ahead and show you what's going on inside the front of the car as i said this car is a five-speed manual transmission car seats work perfectly okay seats work perfectly now let me step inside here and show you what's going on now a lot of people when they do the swaps they have the gauge stuff up here or down in here this is a custom cluster you have the boost here and you have the AFR here and you also have all your functioning original gauge cluster stuff going on right in there now we have a tastefully modified stereo okay and you also have the full Japanese multi display right here also perfectly working AC inside this car is ice cold okay ice ice cold now as you can see the front seat on the passenger side it's really clean also okay and there we have going over again with the um the red diamonds and black stitching carpet here also the dashboard is black <coughs> sorry and no rips no tears nothing looking funny five speed manual transmission this car is equipped with a r154 manual transmission okay it is cons it's on a conservative tune right now and you can pump a whole lot more out of it this is a very good base to start as you can see it's not a janky looking whatever they would say it's clean armrest one thing that usually goes bad on these cars are the armrest i just you know it, it's, it feels really nice not ripped or anything like that you also have a little vip you know holder right here and a cup holder okay all right let me go ahead and go around the rest of the car and i'm gonna give it a start up again so you can see exactly what's going on in there the car is currently for sale right now if you are interested go ahead and contact me um i'm gonna put the number up in the description you could go ahead and contact me in regards to that and a little bit of correction financing is available right now as i speak for any one of these cars that you see here that you are interested in financing is available right now so go ahead and give the shop a call ask for anthony and you can go ahead and set up a test drive and talk and talk to him about owning your dream car the value of these cars are only going to go up especially when you have so much stuff 
invested into the cars like this and you have a well-built car like this which makes no funny sounds nothing weird going on so the prices are only going to go up as you can see the engine prices are going up every single day so this is a very good place to start can you see this that's one tire mark that's another tire mark right there you know what does that right okay good see now you already know what does that i'm gonna leave it at that you see one tire mark another tire mark all the way out okay so this thing did that now let me go ahead and open the trunk and show you what's going on inside here take a look at this the trunk is very clean it also has a 15 inch subwoofer in the back right here good as you can see and also an amplifier okay as i said it's tastefully modified you still have the use of your trunk here so you don't have speaker boxes that filling up the whole complete trunk and you don't have any use of it you can still bring whatever you need to bring inside of here okay let me go ahead and close this down there you go a solid lock okay so this is the back of the car you already have the toyota aristo trunk on here the interior is perfectly clean Cusco coilovers, R154 manual transmission with a stage five clutch, okay. Twin turbo Supra front brakes, everything, everything. As I said, this car is in perfect condition. It's the pearl white paint. As you can see inside the engine bay here, it has been done perfectly. There's nothing running all over the whole place and all of that is perfect. There's a lot more room for upgrade on this car, okay? So if you're interested in purchasing the car and you purchase it and you want to do upgrades, you want to get more power, you want to go E85, a simple injector change, injectors change that, you know, for something that's going to be pumping out a whole lot more gas for your E85, and there you go. It's that simple. You already have the standalone ECU to take care of all the tuning needs, okay? So... Yes, I'm going to go back and give you all a startup again and show you what's up. And then if any other questions, go ahead and contact me. And I'm going to put the shop number in the description also. So you can go ahead and give Anthony a call. Schedule a test drive and talk about financing so you can own your own piece of JDM goodness. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and close out with you right now with a startup. See, we just started up again here's the gauge cluster okay so you can see everything that's going on right there this is the Japanese multi display okay oh you just heard a little Japanese on there okay and there you go ice cold AC perfectly functioning everything this car is ready to go to a new home if you're interested just go ahead and contact me or call the shop okay so that should be it any other questions just let me know and by the way the car only has 134,000 miles on it so it has low mileage the title is clean okay and it's ready for a new home just imagine this car being parked in your driving lot